Good morning everybody. Today it is Tuesday. The countdown to Christmas is on and I am very much looking forward to it. Your girl needs to lay down and watch some Emily in Paris and I cannot wait. I'm in a very good mood right now because Ryan has gone out for a haircut and that's not why I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood because his Christmas present has arrived. So you saw this in the last vlog but the rest of the present has arrived which I am so so relieved about because I part I didn't really realize I didn't think about it I ordered it maybe a week ago now and I didn't really think when I ordered this dressing gown for him that I had personalized it and that obviously takes a little bit longer and I had this panic yesterday where I realized that I may have really messed up and that it might actually not arrive before Christmas but that means the whole order would not be sent out before Christmas so the one tiny thing he asked me for which was the cow shed deodorants probably wouldn't be shipped either and I was like trying to find a different stockist everywhere I couldn't find it and then literally as I gave up my search I got my dispatch email and uh, here it is so whilst he's out I'm going to put everything in the overnight bag which you will have seen in the last video that I got him I'm definitely gonna steal this like he's gonna this, this is gonna be one of the first things that he'll say um I have my own overnight bag and uh oh this is really bright hang on oh oh can't complain I've really missed the sun it's actually like the weather is nice I didn't have to wear a bajillion layers when I went out earlier what can I prop you on oh I'll prop you on the box handy wonky and unstable but it's fine. So this is the bag that I got him. It's from Jaeger, I think, or Jaeger, or however you want to say it. But I got it on M&S uh, and it was on sale, which is fab. So I have also got a lovely gray personalized dressing gown. I don't know if you can see the, there we go. There's the RH on it, which is lovely. So I'm gonna put that inside the bag. And then we also have the deodorant. Oh, perfect. Oh, they aren't the minis, great. These are the cow shed deodorants that we love so much. We do have um, travel size bottles of these that we can decant this into as well, which is great. So I basically got him a year's supply because he loves it that much. We're going to get these bits into the bag. I think this will be a really nice surprise when he opens it as well. Gorgeous. I might put some Soho skin bits in it as well because I feel like he will really enjoy those. This is a very Soho Farmhouse themed little Christmas gift, but he has been saying he misses it. So I need to get this wrapped up ASAP before he gets back from his haircut. And then I've got a fun little Christmas related activity to do whilst my video uploads, because I realized that I don't have a tablescape, even though we're, we're doing like a buffet for Christmas because we're doing a Christmas brunch. I realized I didn't have anything decorative for the island where like most of the food will be and where we'll probably like have our drinks around and stuff. I really didn't think this through. I have last minute pulled together um, a few bits and I feel like Josie will be very, very proud of what she is about to witness. Actually proud or she'll be slightly pained because I am actually not very good at doing stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it a go. It might look dead. Um, and I'm sure Josie could do it much better, but I'm gonna give it a go either way. But first things first, we're gonna wrap this. <laughs> actually couldn't make the bow work so that velvet bow is actually the velvet bow that you see me wearing in my hair from H&M. Looped in with the excess ribbon um, but yeah I just literally couldn't make the bow look good. I was about this much ribbon short from making it look good so we've improvised a bit but but the most important thing is the gift is wrapped without Ryan seeing any further spoilers because I feel like he saw the bag when I was editing the other day and I'm very sad about that. So next on the agenda today is my tablescape. 
I went to the florist this morning. I knew they'd be selling cut offs of like Christmas tree. They always are this time of year. So I just picked up a couple of branches. They were literally a few pounds. So I'm going to chop very similarly to what I did with the wreath at Josie's. I'm going to chop um, the branches so that they're in like kind of like hand and wrist sized little bunches you know so they like make a hand and a wrist that's what I'm trying to say um so I should get a fair few little kind of like bunches out of this please excuse the drilling can you hear that honestly non-stop right now do they not know I'm trying to complete the last vlogmas of the year once I've cut them down I'm then going to make a little circular I think tablescape either around that candle or I've got this one that I have had for years from Diptyque and it smells gorgeous and I'm still working my way through it I can't decide which one I think this one is cooler this one just looks a bit meh in the kitchen um though it is gorgeous and smells amazing this one looks a bit cooler because the kitchen is gray so I think I'm gonna go circular and not along because I feel like that might get a bit annoying like then our food has to kind of go either side um so I think yeah circular I'm going to try and keep it quite small um because I don't want anything too crazy so hopefully all of this will be more than enough and then I've got some little bits so I've got this is from the last wreath making I did years ago that's got to go um I've got some ribbon which I could use oh are they gift tags oh damn only two I need to go and get gift tags today um you might have seen in the last vlog, I was literally putting post-it notes on the presents. I've got my little cutters. I thank goodness have some floristry wire. The lovely man at the florist did give me some of this, but I ideally wanted this and thankfully I do have some. Um, I've got some extra little bits that I could use as well. Just not a lover of red. I might use this one. And then in this box, I have got lots of gold dusted pine cones and somewhere around here i've also there we go i've also got some dried oranges which are looking a little bit worse for wear but i think seeing as i'm just pulling together something very last minute they'll do i don't know where all of the other ones went because i did have honestly so many of these like hundreds i don't know where they've gone but this will do this is more than enough but I'm also going to nip out and get some bits from the garden as well. I thought it would be nice because I've got loads of rosemary that actually needs trimming back a little bit. It's getting a bit too big for its boots. And I also have um, my olive bushes need trimming down just because they are also getting a little bit too big for their boots as well. So I thought I'd make use of it. And then it ties in nicely, like the kitchen tablescape in with the garden because you can obviously see it from the kitchen. So let's do it. I mean, look at this. Bit too big for your boots, mate. Oh my god, this smells incredible. Here goes quite literally nothing. This is the finished tablescape. If you want to know kind of the method behind doing this, uh, Josie's video is probably a lot more helpful than anything that I could explain because um, I've essentially made a wreath 
but lying down. And the great thing about that is it actually doesn't have to be as steady as if you are hanging it. So um, lots of these branches are kind of like slotted in and um, these are literally just placed on top. How would anyone know? No one's gonna know. So in addition to the tree branches, which I bought from the shop and it literally cost me, I think like five pounds for all the two branches. Um, I've got rosemary from the garden and then I've got olive branches from our garden. And then I've also got um, this flowered oregano that's like fully done its thing. It's dying out and like fully dried out. But I thought it looked quite cool. Like there's almost like a purpley tone to the brown and I thought it would work really nicely with uh, the tabletops in the kitchen and the really nice thing about this oregano as well um, is that there's almost like a nice little personal touch to it because um, we're not only hosting um, my parents but we're hosting Ryan's mum as well and she gave me the oregano like root to grow so that's the reason it grows and it grows back every year it's thriving in our like raised flower bed um, so this is that same oregano but like this year's version um, so I thought that would be a really nice thing to add in to the wreath and it looks so cool as well and just adds a little bit of a different tone. I also love how silvery the leaves on the olive branches are. I think it just again adds a different tone and kind of gives it a little bit more depth and interest. And then we've got these gold pine cones and the dried oranges bringing in the warmth and it just smells incredible. It's like a mixture of pine branches and then also rosemary so it basically smells like roast potatoes it smells unreal in here right now um so yeah that is what it looks like where are we going to put the food i have no idea i don't care because i have a tablescape thank god so yeah not bad for like 15 minutes work and about a fiver's worth of branches okay remind me things i might need to pack a costume a costume for swimming Okay. Just swimming costume. Yeah. Uh, something for dinner. Something. Don't have to be like super dressy though. So. Something cash for dinner. Cash but nice. Yeah. Okay. Maybe some layers as well. Layers. <laughs> I think he cheats at rock, paper, scissors. Good morning, everybody. Today it is Wednesday. I think it is one of my last few days of Vlogmas. Today I am super excited because Ryan has booked a surprise little staycation for us um, as a little like end of Vlogmas uh, pre-Christmas treat, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I have very minimal details on what we are doing. I don't really know where we're going. I don't know what, I know it's an hour away, but I'm not sure which direction we are going in. So yeah, I am really looking forward to seeing how today unfolds, completely letting go, the control freak in me is letting go. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm excited to take you along with us for the day um but in terms of my outfit we're just going to be sitting in the car it is very very drizzly today but um i'm just going to keep the car nice and toasty so i am wearing this big old cardigan from house of cb it gets like the worst pulls in it but i kind of love it for that like i love how um like beaten up it is i, I think it kind of adds to the vibe um it's got these pockets on it which i love and then underneath i've just got my skin full body suit just as like a nice easy one layer kind of situation and then i have belted it with a holland cooper belt uh this is my go-to belt at the moment because my balenciaga one is out of action i now need to find a new very thin little belt with gold hardware because that was actually a staple in my wardrobe i'm so peeved about it so um that will be on my list uh, to search for in the new year and then in terms of footwear i'm wearing my fendi monogram boots and don't worry there are plenty of coats and layers packed but yeah let's go okay we are in the car you ready i'm ready yeah. i don't know where i'm going it's just gonna be interesting wish me luck
Look at you, the first ever staycation on oh, the tree. So cute. Oh, this roof is lovely. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm gonna overuse the word cute a lot, guys. Hello everybody, just thought I'd check in with you. I haven't had a chance to chat to you since we arrived, but um, it is the, what do, what do they call it? The winter solstice today, so shortest day of the year. So as soon as we got here, we did a little walk around in the village. Uh, we're staying in Midhurst, I wanna say, which is very close to Petworth, which is one of my favorite places in Sussex. It's really, really beautiful. Um, it is warm in this room you guys I've just come out of the spa so I am like nice and toasty and you know when you're like warm from within but I feel like my cheeks are like fully flushing um but yeah so we are staying at a place called S spread eagle thank you <laughs> I was like it's something about spreading <laughs> <laughs> but that's not very helpful so yeah it's a really lovely little um what do you call it like a spa hotel um but i think i was reading about it earlier because i'm a nerd and it was one of the uk's first coaching inns and it dates back to like like 1430 and queen elizabeth the first has stayed here so fun facts about this place for you other fun facts include the fact that the spa is very nice it kind of gives me like babington house vibes but not like quite to the soho house level but like it's really really pretty it's got like a vaulted ceiling really really nice um i spent a lot of time in the hot tub versus the pool made the mistake of getting in the hot tub first <laughs> don't do that but yeah it's really cute here we have like the lounge bar like just a little like couple of steps up from um our room and it's really cute and cozy in there so i hope we're gonna be having dinner in there very very shortly but the best thing about this hotel is they do a muddy paws package so cute shrimpy shrimpy <laughs> Hello! Are you on holiday with us? Yes, you're on holiday with us! Oh, it was so nice having her here with us. She's been so cute. They do, like, you get a little um, towel you can dry your dog with and that's, I think that's like a complimentary thing. It's really funny. I need Ryan to dress her up in it again so that you can see um, what she looks like in it because she looks hilarious. She looks like Baby Yoda. And they have like a little bed set up in the living room. It's such a cute room actually. It's got like a little living room area and then we've got our bedroom in here which is so pretty. <laughs> I love it. This is like living my best uh little country village dreams here like look at this how cute is this these pillows <laughs> they've got the little cherubs on <laughs> it's just so sweet and like i said the spa is really nice as well though i have to say i wish i loved spas more like i wish i loved like steam rooms and things like that because um i'm a little bit claustrophobic and i really struggle with a steam room though i might give it another go if i get up early enough tomorrow morning i might give the steam room a go before i put my makeup on and just see but I'm not sure. I'm, but I'm I'm willing to like try try again. So yeah, it's a really lovely little staycation. I love I love the fact that Ryan booked this based on the fact that um it had the muddy paws package. It's just so cute. So a really nice little way for us to all spend some time together before the craziness of Christmas. So the dinner options also was a big. The dinner options. Yeah, sort of travel oil. <laughs> or some kind of truffle pasta which I may be able to have fingers crossed um we have seen that there is a vegan menu I'm just hoping that they have it 
this close to Christmas. Fingers crossed they will. Um, but yeah, we'll head down to the bar in a minute and I'll show you around. I'm sure you've already seen a few snippets of things that I've vlogged on the way in, but I haven't vlogged at the bar yet and it's so, so cozy. It's giving me all the festive vibes. Nana is having a Christmas dinner, lovingly prepared by Mr. Hungry Hurley over here. Look at how cute one, this is. One of my finest, <laughs> Did you make this? Yeah. Okay, got you. Wait, wait. Wait. Go on then. Go on. Oh. She's like, this isn't where I usually eat my dinner. Mmm, this is delicious Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh, look at you. In your big girl's bed. This is the bed that they provide you when you stay here and it's just so cute. Look at you. Oh. <laughs> She's like, tell me more. Tell me I'm cute. <laughs> my sweet sweet girl <laughs> what's that? I don't want to smell like Christmas dinner so like this is the uh, towel dressing gown hybrid yeah this is the complimentary <laughs> towel I was <laughs> trying to get it off <laughs> but you can fully strap her in which is necessary right now because you got a wet belly yeah you've been outside oh look at her you too lovely dinner last night was so good like the bar lounge bari area and the food was so good mm. did you have a good time <laughs> so good. you can just see a tiny snippet of your face it was good <laughs> it was so I'm good i'm hungry now though we should have stayed for breakfast we should have stayed for breakfast yeah but i have a hair appointment so fair enough yeah, i'll just still oh we we'll just do a mcdonald's start. drive through oh yeah good there's actually is there anything you can have on the breakfast menu Mm, no. Hash browns in a wrap. Yeah. Bit dead. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure we'll make it home. It's not far. But yeah, it was such a lovely stay, um, and I'm feeling very festive now. Are you feeling festive? I'm excited. Yeah. Also, Emily in Paris uh, season three is out, and I just realised you have football tonight, so you can binge that. Gonna binge watch that before we do our Christmas food shop. Pray for us doing it in person because we missed the order deadline <laughs> it's the day before christmas eve <laughs> yeah but to be fair we don't it's not like we need to like make sure we have a turkey and like no certain things like pigs and blankets yeah that like, like whenever i say to people that we hadn't done any of that they're like but what meat will you have and then they, mm. they go oh no way that's the thing that i yeah. guess people kind of prioritize and have to make sure they put good mm, good cuts of meat yeah yeah whereas hopefully mm. they'll they're fucking. have potatoes and stuff in yeah we'd hope so i don't know what i'm gonna do my glasses are fogging up anyway let's go i'm back in the chair and ready for carla to work her magic we're just gonna give it a little refresh before christmas because um my ends are looking a little bit lighter than we'd like um and maybe a little trim as well because the cold weather is definitely drying it out so i want to make sure it's like super healthy i've literally been oiling it day and night and just trying to keep it really healthy but the top layers it's definitely like 
taking its toll on it so i'm gonna try and keep it as healthy as we can no bleach just literally like keep it dark trim the ends give it a zhuzh you know Ooh. you can barely see my hair because it is so dark it does always look a little bit wild when we first dye it but this literally my hair does not hold color so we've gone a little bit darker on the ends just so it holds a little bit better over christmas and stays looking like really dark and like glossy for all of my festive parties i really like it though i like having like a slightly ashier darker tone to my hair but i am gonna look like pure goth girl vibes for a couple of days lovely and wavy as well not sure how long it's gonna last though because the weather today is absolutely pants let's get home i need to edit before we do the dreaded food shop where'd all the crisps go wow the last coffee and gingerbread of vlogmas i'm actually a bit sad good morning everybody it is the 23rd of december today this is my last little diary entry for vlogmas um i actually intended on finishing this video last night however i was absolutely shattered after we got back from doing the christmas food shop we're not even doing like a full you know big christmas meal where we are with ryan's mum but um we have all the stuff for that so we weren't even really doing anything that felt particularly stressful but it was just a little bit chaotic and it just gets to the point where you're like i don't even care what we eat i don't care anymore i just want to get out of here so we were just shattered and i really didn't want to end this year's vlogmas on just like a really tired grumpy susie note so um i've had a full good long sleep and i'm feeling good today i'm actually just about to do my lip color for my makeup i wasn't going to do makeup today and then my mum was like oh i'm coming around and i'm bringing your dad um so now i'm kind of like pulling together some makeup and i'm not sure what i'm gonna go for i kind of feel like i want to do that lip that like i've seen everyone doing on tiktok where it's like a pinky red lip i'm not sure i've got i'm not sure these are the colors i'm not sure also, will I regret doing a slightly colourful lip? I mean, highly likely. Although, I do feel like this Super Cupid, the legit name of this liner, by the way, um, I feel like this is really cute. Just for like everyday wear. So I think that's gonna go in my makeup bag. I'm not really convinced on any of my lip colours, you know. Super Size Me from Charlotte Tilbury. Still looking very nude. The one time I actually want like a pink. I really don't want to use the Kylie ones because I don't really like them. But I feel like that's like the perfect colour that I was looking for. Almost like a cherry red that I can like blend out. We'll give it a go. Maybe we'll try the Vive one first to like ease me into it. And then if I'm feeling brave, I'll go for that Kylie one. Oh, I don't know. This is nice. That's really nice, actually. But I am gonna. I'm feeling brave. I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit of this and like blend it out. What do we think? I think it's nice. Kind of festive. I like it. We'll roll with this today and I'll just feel like I'm playing dress up a little bit with the uh, hair as well. So the rest of my day today is going to consist of cleaning and entertaining my parents for a little bit because my brother actually moved out yesterday and I think they're feeling a little bit emotional and this need to be near their only child that is left uh, near them. So <laughs> I am gonna be doing a little bit of entertaining this afternoon. So I need to go and crack on with some cleaning right now. And that is basically going to be me for the next 48 hours until Christmas morning. It's just cleaning like a mad woman. So I am going to end this Vlogmas episode here, my final episode of Vlogmas. I feel weirdly kind of like it feels very bittersweet. On the one hand, I'm looking forward to having a couple of days off and just having like some full on family time, really, really chilled time. But on the flip side, I am going to really miss like this whole routine of just constantly filming and uploading. This month has flown by and it's actually probably been one of my most fun months of the year. I feel like the last three months of this year have just been like back to back 
really busy but crazy fun and I have literally loved every minute and especially this month I've really enjoyed bringing you along with me so I'm hoping that can continue in 2023. How mad is that? 2023. I really thought I'd have like a robot in my house by now, bit tangent. Anyway, um, yeah I am going to really miss Vlogmas. I've really loved doing it this year. It's probably been one of my, I think just my favourite Vlogmas year that I have ever done so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too and maybe maybe there'll be another one next year. This Vlogmas episode in itself may be one of, I don't know, it was de definitely one of my favourite episodes to live. I don't know if it'll be one of my favourite ones fully to watch back but definitely to just like live an experience. I absolutely have loved like the past 48 hours not so much the christmas food shopping but trip out to spread eagle was just so lovely i thoroughly enjoyed myself so i hope you enjoyed coming along with us so yeah that is going to be it from me i feel like i'm rambling because i don't actually want to stop vlogging i don't want to leave you <laughs> but i need to because this video needs to go live at some point so that is going to be it from me love you bye merry christmas bye